Hello and welcome to my channel. I am going to do Word Module 1 and of Module Project 2. Basically, this is the first module of Word section of this course. I will do this assignment step by step and you can get your assignment done by watching this complete video. If you want me to do this assignment for you or if you want me to do this complete course for you, you can contact me either through WhatsApp or email. My WhatsApp number and email is given in the description of this video. My WhatsApp number and email is also showing at the bottom of the screen. You can also help me for your other courses like accounting, management, <coughs> finance, information technology, computer sciences, all other writing assignments, mathematics, statistics, etc. So now let's start this assignment and solve this assignment step by step so that you can get your assignment done by watching this complete video. So, end of module project 1, project 2, Hickory product, High Creek Point University Hospital, completing a letter and information, information sheet. Getting started with the project, with the assignment, we are supposed to download this uh, NP119 and of module project 1 file. I have already downloaded this one and you can download this from your school or Cengage login. We will apply all these steps to this file and we will get this assignment in the final form for this mission. So let's start uh, let's start solving this assignment step by step so that you can solve this assignment on your own. So first step of the project step is as an outreach coordinator at the High Creek Point University Hospital. You are creating a fundraising letter and information sheet for donors. Change the page orientation to portrait. <coughs> so basically, in this step, we are supposed to change the orientation of the page to the portrait. So for this, we will go to the layout tab first and go to the page setup and orientation and select portrait. So we have changed the page orientation to the portrait now. So that is all about step number one. So now we will move to step number two. Change the document margins to narrow. So now we are supposed to change the document margins to narrow. So let's go to the file and go to the layout tab again and select the margins here and select the narrow. So we have changed the document margins to narrow now. So we are done with step number two as well. And now let's move to third step. Apply a tolic to the sentence. Please send your donation today. So first we will look for this sentence. We send your donation today. Search for this one. This is the sentence. Select this one. And we are supposed to make it italic. So go to the home tab, go to the font, and select italic from here. So that is all about. Step number three. So we have completed three steps of this assignment, and now we're going to do next step. That is step number four. Total steps to solve in this assignment are eleven. Let's do step number four now. So insert the complementary closing sincerely in the blank paragraph before the signature line. And then insert two blank lines to provide room for a handwritten signature. So now we are supposed to insert the complementary closing sincerely, including comma in the blank paragraph before the signature line.
we are supposed to insert sincerely here and that is all okay and then insert two blank lines to provide room for a handwritten signature two black lines and that is all about step number four so we have completed step number four and now we will move to next step that is step number five On page two, change the font size of the headline paragraph. You your gift saves lives to twenty eight points. So we will move to page number two. Your gift saves lives. This one, and we are supposed to change the font size to the twenty eight points. So select this line and go to the home tab and the font select twenty eight size for this line. And that is all about step number five. So we have completed. Five steps, and now we're gonna do next step. That is step number six. Apply the soft edges rectangle picture style to the picture of the family. So now we are supposed to change the picture style. And we will select the picture. This is the picture of the family, and we are supposed to apply the soft edges rectangle to this picture. So go to the picture format, and go to the picture style, and now we will select the soft edges rectangle. So we are looking for. Soft edges rectangle. So this is the soft edges rectangle, and we are supposed to apply the soft edges rectangle to this picture. So we will select this soft edges rectangle picture style, and you can see that now picture style has been changed to the soft edges rectangle. So that is all about step number six. So we have completed six steps, and now we're gonna do next step. That is step number seven. Change the font of the paragraph below the picture. High Creek Point University Hospital treats thousands of their adults and children every year. To calibrate body and then center the paragraph. So first select this one. High Creek Point University Hospital treats thousands of their adults and children every year. We will select this one, and we are supposed to apply the calibrate. Body one, this one, and then we are supposed to center this paragraph. So out of eleven uh, steps, I have solved seven steps for you in this video. But if you want me to do this complete assignment for you, or if you want me to do this complete course for you, you can contact me either through WhatsApp or email, and I will help you to do this complete assignment or complete course for you. I request you to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and comment to my videos. And if you have any question, my WhatsApp number and email is showing at the bottom of the screen. You can contact me either through WhatsApp or email, and you can ask me to do this assignment for you, or you can ask me to do this complete course for you. You can also hire me for your other courses like accounting, management, finance. Information technology, computer sciences, all other writing assignments, mathematics, statistics, etc. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will get back to you with another video. Thank you so much again.